When you're a choreographer and you put so much into a routine that's emotionally driven, those are like my ideas and my little babies that I have here and then I put them out there and they're there to be judged and looked at. When it's all over, it's just such a relief. I'd wake up in the morning first thing and I'd go tend to all the plants and water everything. I'm surprised by that. I didn't think I was going to be that type of guy. As much as I would love to see an all-star season with all-star people, I also love the ideas they are talking about. So, I don't know, maybe it's a mixture. Who knows? In school, some of my favorite subjects. I mean, art was my favorite subject. I loved art. I used to go during lunchtime to the art room and paint or draw or something. I loved World of Dance, the dancers. For me, a dream partner is someone who is willing to learn and to put their trust in me. It's interesting, I'm one of those people who the more I do something, the more I want to do it. Even me being home, the more I'm being home, the more I want to be home. It's been good. Can someone's true value really be estimated? Maybe there needs to be an Edmunds.com for people on TV. That would be funny and possibly cruel. I'd like to do Broadway if the right project came along but my mission in life is that I want to help change people's lives. I really enjoy the competition aspect of it and the structure, and having a career goal and knowing if I train and I worked really hard then I could obtain that goal. I feel fairly certain that my painting skills might not be best shown on Dancing with the Stars. I'll have to come up with another way to showcase that side of me. When you're a dancer, especially a ballroom and Latin dancer, it's a very small world you live in and it's this little bubble. I'm naturally a competitive person, but to be deliberate in trying to take down the other school, that's not really in me, but it was nice to put on those shoes. I'm all for big production, I love putting on shows. My type, which I didn't realize until somebody pointed out to me, apparently is brunettes with darker skin tones, but that is about it as far as aesthetically. It's such a cliche thing to say. I want to choreograph, I want to direct, I want to act, I want to write music. I want to play music, I want to sing. For me, it's never ending. I want to do it all, really. I surprised myself with my love and joy for gardening and just being outside and taking care of the yard. It became my morning ritual. I think for me, the thing that gets me in the right mindset is just watching something funny, something light, something that makes me feel good. Regardless of what it is, when you feel good, when you feel upbeat, creativity flows. I feel like there's a lot of density right now in general in the world, and I feel like bringing a little bit of light, a little bit of joy, is calling to me. It's cool to look back and think, man, I had these dreams and visions and they're coming true. I want to choreograph, I want to direct, I want to act, I want to write music, I want to play music, I want to sing. For me, it's never ending. I want to do it all, really. My home that I built was on this barren wasteland just like desert dust. Now it's green with trees and plants. I'm turning it into a green haven. When I went to theater arts school in London, there were a few things I did that were quite dark and moody and emotional. Honestly, I loved that. However, I think that right now, for me, my focus in future projects that I'm about to work on, I feel like in this day, I feel compelled to do joy, pure and fun. Right now I'm creating something new for dancers to showcase their abilities, not just to compete. I'm really, really excited about that. I'd love to do more theater and acting. I attended a performing arts high school in London, and it would be great to be able to put all of that training to use again. I'm just the biggest klutz. That's the problem. I don't get hurt doing cool things. All of a sudden we're on this national stage with millions of people watching and on top of that we're working with celebrities. For me, I like to push myself. I hate feeling complacent or that I'm not learning. I grew up really fast when I moved to England when I was 12 years old. I never dreamed of dancing on television or anything like that. It's more of things that come along that excite me and inspire me. I come from a theatrical background, where, if you're working on a movie or a play, you always respect the people you work with. You're accommodating. Haley and I have learned how to do so many different things, editing on the computer, we've been cooking more together, simple tasks around the house, doing a lot of gardening, doing some creative things. We got a new dog, which now tallies up to four animals. So you can imagine that that in itself has been pretty time consuming, 
managing all the animals. Whether it be through television, or through music, or through dance, or through film, whatever it is, as long as it's the right project that makes sense, then I'm all for it. For me, there's nothing more masculine than when I'm completely in control of my body and can call upon my body to do whatever I want it to do. I always envisioned being on a stage in front of thousands of people and I always daydreamed, especially, living, in London on the train. For me, you've got to start from within. The things you eat directly affect the way you feel and the way you move. I was kind of reflecting on my life and certain experiences, and you know, when I'm teaching and coaching my partners on Dancing with the Stars, I sort of use those stories and anecdotes to help them sort of overcome certain fears. The key for me is really just to stay in a childlike state in the rehearsal studio. I'm really goofy and really silly and crazy. If I get too serious, I start hitting a wall. I went to a theater arts school, so I'm interested in many different projects, whether it be film, television, or even live theater. I'm a performer. That's what I do. That's what I want to do. I don't think at any point did I ever think dancing was going to be my life and even now I still don't think it's the case. Whether I'm doing a routine where I want to move people, or if I want to feel moved myself, I definitely tap into those moments where it's not just dancing or movement. It might just be a hand gesture or just a slow look, or even just the way you slightly tip your head forward. These subtleties speak volumes. I always want to be the best at what I do. That doesn't mean compared to other people, but just in what you do. I think models, in general, have a certain insecurity about themselves because they're known for being beautiful, so they have to prove to everybody they have personality and they are intelligent. 